Hey there, it's Sharon, your guitar god helping you find your sound. Today, if you want to learn Teach Your Children Well, well, you've come to the right place, because that's coming up. Yeah. Hey there, welcome to Your Guitar God, the channel where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. If this is your first time here, subscribe for more guitar tips and tricks. And for all you that have already subscribed, thank you very much for supporting the channel. starts over again. Today I want to show you this great classic song by Crosby, Stills & Nash. I'll show you all the chords and there's a chord sheet over at yourguitarguide.com with the lyrics and everything you need to master this song. And this lesson's a little bit different. I'm not singing. The chords we're playing in the song is D, G, A, and B minor. Stick around till the end and I'm going to tell you how to get the chord cheat sheet with the chords and the lyrics. And that way you'll have the chord progression. So be sure to stick around and get that. So if you want to just strum the song you could play down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. But if you watch the YouTube video of Crosby, Stills, and Nash, they're not just strumming away. They're playing some cowboy picking. So let me tell you, how to do that. So with the D we're going to pick the fourth string which is the D string. D strum fifth string strum four five four five What I would recommend is getting good at one chord of picking the bass line, picking basically, basically, before you go to the next chord. D, A, D, D, A, D, A, four, five, four, five. G What we're going to do on the G chord is pick 6 strum 5 strum 6 strum 5 strum Grab your guitar and practice with me 6 5 6 5 6 Reminds me of a train. Six, five. And we're not strumming all the strings. You're just picking and strumming the fourth and third string. Five. Six, 
five, we're playing the G. Six, five, six, five. So, so far we've got the D. G. An A chord. So after you position your fingers for the A, we're going to play the open A string, strum, D string, strum, A, which is the fifth string, strum, fourth string, strum, A, strum, fourth string, strum, which is the D string, A, D, A, D, A, D. D, G, A, and then we need the B minor. So when you're playing the B minor, you're going to pick the fifth string, strum, Four strings strum. Five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four. The song starts out with D. So actually, this is two beats of the D. So it's the D string strum, A string strum. D string strum, A string strum, then it goes to G, back to D, A, one, two, three, four, one, G, two, three, four, back to D, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, D, three, four. So this little walk up back to D is. Which is open A string. Second fret of the A string. 4th fret of the A string, open 4th string, D string, so at the beginning before the verse, the intro goes like this. And the verse is D, G, D, A. We've got that walk up again. D, G, D. Then we've got the chorus, D, G, D, B minor, G, A, stay on A, then the verse starts again, D, G, A, if I could get the A without hitting the wrong strings, D, 
D. Hey. The interlude that is D. G. D. A. The interlude is after the chorus. So basically it's two beats of each chord. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Before I tell you about the outro, let me tell you how to get the cheat sheet over at yourguitarguide.com so you'll know the chord progression for this. There'll be a link in the description for that. And let me show you the outro. The outro is D, G, D, A. D If you like this lesson, could you give it a thumbs up? Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for coming by the channel and don't forget to watch that video lesson next. Stay safe. Thanks.